In this video, we are going to answer the two remaining questions about the uh, super etudine AM FM receiver. We'll start with the second question. Why do we need the RF stage? Why do we need the RF stage? And in order to answer this question, I'm going to show you a problem that might happen here. We discussed the case where we want to listen to the Quran channel which existed at 1000 kilohertz. And we said that we are going to uh, uh, mix with the 1000 plus FIF, 1000 kilohertz plus FIF. So we are going to shift to the right around 1000 plus FIF. We are going to shift to the left around negative 1000, negative FIF. Now the problem is, consider that we have another channel. Another channel, I'm going to plot it in blue here. Which is, let's say, it's news channel that exists exactly at 1000 plus 2 FIF 1000 plus 2 FIF of course here FIF is 455 in the AM FIF is 455 so uh, if you apply it to the AM case uh, it will be 1000 plus 2 multiplied by 455 it will be 1910 kHz Imagine or assume that we have a channel here at 1000 plus 2 FIF and force its image from the other side at negative 1000, negative 2 FIF. Let's see what will happen when we mix with our oscillator, with our oscillator, which is 1000 plus FIF. Still, our objective is to we want to listen to the Quran channel which exists at 1000. But let's see now what will happen. When we mix with 1000 plus FIF, we are going to shift the whole spectrum to the right. When we do that, when we shift the whole spectrum to the right, around 1000 plus FIF, what will happen is the Quran channel, negative 1000, is going to be shifted by 1000 plus FIF to the right. So negative 1000 plus 1000 plus FIF, the Quran channel is going to come here. What about the other channel? This is a channel at negative 1000, negative 2 FIF. When we shift it to the right by 1000 plus FIF, 1000 will cancel with negative 1000, and FIF will cancel with one of the two FIFs, and this channel will come here, exactly. So the Quran channel will come here, and this channel, it will come here at the FIF field. So here, when we shift it to the right, the Quran channel went to the IF location here and the other channel went to the IF location here, the negative location. Okay, this is when we shift it to the right. When we shift to the left, when we shift to the left by negative 1000, negative FIF, 1000 here, when you shift it to negative 1000, negative FIF, it will go to this position as we explained before. So the Quran channel will go to this position when we shift to the left. What about this channel? This channel, when we shift to the left, this is a channel at 1000 plus 2 FIF. When we shift to the left by negative 1000, negative FIF, this channel is going to go here. So we are going to get two channels at the IF position, whether here or here. We are going to get both the Quran channel and the news channel in the same location of the IF filter. Okay, in the same location of the IF filter, which is here, we are going to get two channels. When we shift to the right, again, when we shift to the right, the Quran channel will go here and the news channel will go here. When we shift to the left, the, the Quran channel will go here and the news channel will go here. So, you will find that at the IF location of the filter, at the IF location, you will get two channels. You will not get any, only the Quran channel, you will get the Quran channel and the news channel. Both of them will appear in the IF location and hence both of them will pass through the IF filter. And you are going to listen to both of them together in the, at the speaker. Which is bad, right? Because you will not be able to listen to two channels at the same time. This is what we call the image channel problem. The image channel problem. Image channel 
problem. So each channel, each channel, for example, the Quran channel, it has its image after two FIF, always. Whatever the frequency here, the image channel appears after a distance two FIF, greater than this. So the image channel problem for a channel, for a channel at FC, its image, its image will be at FC plus two FIF. So for each channel at FC, its image will appear at a greater frequency by 2 FIF, which is, the, which is in the case of AM, FIF is 455 kHz, so it will appear for AM at FC plus 19 kHz. This is called the uh, image channel problem. How can we get rid of this image channel problem? They said, okay, what we can do is, we can, in the beginning, before uh, we do mixing, before the uh, uh, frequency mixer or converter, if you want to listen to the Quran channel, we can pass the receipt signal, which contains all the channels, we can pass it through an RF filter that guarantees that the image will not pass. So we are going to use an RF filter, RF filter. That, this is what we call the RF stage. This RF filter, it's a wide, wide band filter with a center frequency at the Quran channel. So we use its center at the channel that you want to listen to. Okay, so this is a wide band filter, wide band, band. Pass filter, center frequency, center frequency is FC, the channel that you want to listen to. Now assume that, assume that you are going to change a channel, you have to change the center frequency of this filter. So this filter is tunable filter. It's a tunable filter. And it is designed at high frequency. Yes, I agree with you. It's a tunable filter and it is designed at high frequency. But the idea here. Why it is not difficult to design? Because it's a wide filter. It's a filter now that has a wide bandwidth. It's wide enough, it's wide enough to be simple to design, but at the same time, it will guarantee that the image of the channel that you want to listen to, the image of the channel that you want to listen to will not pass. So it will guarantee that the news channel will not pass. So you design this filter, yes, it is designed at high frequency. Yes, it is durable, but it is easy to design because it is wide band, it has a wide bandwidth. And this wide bandwidth, it is enough to guarantee that the image channel, only the image channel will not pass, but it will pass other channels. It will pass other channels, but the image channel, for sure, huh, it will not pass because of this filter. So this filter is a tunable filter, center frequency FC, and that's why when you use your knob in your radio, when you change the frequency of the mixer, you are not changing the frequency of the mixer only, you are changing also the frequency or the center frequency of this RF stage. So the knob in, in your radio, when you rotate the knob in your radio, you are changing the center frequency of the RF filter, the wide filter, that has a purpose of removing the image channel and in addition to that, you are changing the frequency of the oscillator. So when you change the knob in your radio, you are changing two things together, connected together, the center frequency of the RF stage and the uh, frequency of the oscillator. And this is the benefit of the RF stage, is to remove the image channel and prevent this problem from happening. It prevents from having two channels like the Quran and news appearing in the same IF location. So this is the answer to why do we need the RF stage. And basically the RF stage, it's a filter, band bus filter, wide band, tunable with a center at FC, the channel that you want to listen to. Why do we use up conversion, not down conversion? Okay. The answer to this question is the complexity and cost of designing an oscillator, a tunable oscillator, depends on the range of this tunable oscillator. 
the range of tuning of this tuning oscillator. What do I mean by the range of tuning of this tuning oscillator? The range of the tuner oscillator is defined as the maximum frequency divided by the minimum frequency. What is the range? What is the ratio between the maximum frequency of this oscillator and the minimum frequency? When the range is large, this makes the oscillator more complicated and more expensive. When the range, the tunable range of the oscillator is small, this makes the oscillator easier and cheaper. So now let's study the two cases. Let's study the case of up conversion and down conversion given the following information. Given that the IF frequency, let me write it in black, given that the IF frequency is 455 kilohertz. This is for the AM. By the way, for the FM, for the FM, the IF frequency is 10.7 megahertz. This is for the FM, we'll study it later. Okay, but for now, the IF frequency is 10.7 meg. This is one of the differences between the receiver used for AM and the receiver used for FM. But let's focus now for the AM. The IF frequency is 455 kilohertz. And the range of channels, the range of AM channels, it goes from 550 kilohertz to 1600 kilohertz. So this is the range of the AM channels. This is the range of FC. So FC range is in this range, and this is the IF frequency. Now let's consider the up conversion, where F mix equals FC plus. Actually, let's start. Actually, let's start with the down conversion. Let's start with the down conversion, where FC, uh, where F mix equals FC minus F by F. So now FC has a range. From this range, we can calculate the maximum and the minimum. F mix maximum, it will be FC maximum, 1600, minus FIF, which is 455. F minimum, this is F max. F minimum of the mixer will be FC minimum minus FIF. So one time we replace FC with the maximum value, 1,600, and one time we replace FC with the minimum value, which is 550. This will give us that the maximum frequency, in this case, the maximum frequency will be 1,145 kHz. And, right? Am I right? Huh? 45, uh, 1145. And the minimum frequency will be 95 kilohertz. So the ratio now, the ratio between the maximum and the minimum, uh, which we call the dynamic range, the dynamic range of the oscillator will be 1145 divided by 95. This will give you approximately factor in the range of 12, approximately 12. So now if you use a down conversion, the dynamic range of the oscillator will be 12. Now let's consider, let's consider the up conversion and see what would be the dynamic range. And I'm going to do it there. So for the up conversion, F mix equals FC plus FIF, which is FC plus 455 kHz. FC, it has a range between 550 to 1600, so this will give you F maximum will be, F maximum will be 100, 1600 plus 455, which is 2055 kilohertz and F minimum 
will be f minimum will be the minimum of fc which is 550 minus uh, plus uh, i'm sorry plus 455 so this is going to give you 1005 kilo hertz now the dynamic range the dynamic range will be the ratio between f maximum and f minimum of the oscillator so it will be 2055 divided by 1005 this will give you approximately a factor of 2 so the dynamic range the dynamic range in the case of the up conversion is in the range of 2 the dynamic range in the case of down conversion will be approximately 12 see the big difference between the two cases this makes the down conversion because the dynamic range is larger it makes it more complicated and more expensive that's why they use the up conversion in the receiver there uh, i hope that was clear i hope the system the practical system was clear and uh, we answered the uh, required questions again keep in mind that the three blocks here the, the oscillator the multiplier and the filter all the three blocks are supposed to be the mixer but in the textbook they uh, like the author decided to write this book as a mixer and then he separated the filter and the oscillator just to make it clear for you to understand what is going on that's it for the uh, super turbine AM FM receiver the same receiver exactly is used for the FM except that FYF is 10.7 MHz instead of 455 the detector here is different for the AM we use rainbow detector for the FM we will have to use uh, some demodulator FM demodulator or FM detector we will stop here and hope that was clear and we will see you in the next video